is uh, a piece uh, that I've written entitled uh, Amish to Paul Clay, and um, it was inspired by this work, Hot Pursuit. Uh, and I think it would be best if we just play first, and then we can talk about it. See what we can Ways to make 
new forms. Uh, so I identified four uh, shapes that I thought were the principal ones in the painting and wrote four musical motives uh, that corresponded to each of the shapes. And uh, there are four movements in the piece that are very quick, but each one represents a different part of the painting. Uh, so if you want, we can play through the motives and I'll show you which ones there. Can I see the music first and intro? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah that's the. Uh, this motive is a sort of a V shape that you see in, in certain types of painting. You can see it at the top of the figure on the right's head. Uh, and it also occurs at the top of um, each one of these animal like figures. It could also be interpreted as uh, the legs uh, of certain of the figures. Um, it occurs several times throughout the painting. Um, okay. So this one is uh, another mode which is sort of a transformation of that V shape. It's a long line with a short line at the very bottom. And uh, that could be the feet of each of the figures. Uh, and it could also be, uh, in its inversion, this shape that you see here on the left. There's a kind of the shorter line coming out there. And this one to me, uh, an, uh, one of the shapes that I, that I saw in the painting was the face, a face-like shape, which is in each of the, the two figures. Um, and uh, I guess we can talk about, more about that later, but the, uh, I'm going to throw in the last one. So this one represents the uh, the motive, which is a, a large, uh, long line with a curved line at the very top. It's seen here, all the way on the right, in this uh, this figure there, and it can also be seen in the the legs of the figure on the right go up, and then the second leg curves up like that. Um, and it, those, so to me, those four shapes uh, are the materials that Clay chose to recombine, reinvent, and transform throughout the painting. And in each of the movements that I that uh, worked on for the piece, uh, those motives are recombined in ways that I hope uh, can be a kind of an imitation or reenactment themselves of this painting. So does anyone have any questions or comments? Were you also thinking about the title, the overall concept of hot pursuit, or were you more looking at a mark so we're looking at the, the mark making, but actually the, each one of the four movements is a different part of the painting. So uh, the second movement is the two figures. Uh, and in that one, the, the way the, the motives sort of spin out, I, I hope, uh, is um, that they sort of catch up with one another and uh, recombine in a much, in a sort of accelerated way. Uh, that the, the occurrence of each motive happens one right after the other. Um, and that to me was a, a representation of the sensation of, of pursuit. Of, I guess I said. I'm sort of imagining pursuit between the violin and the voice. And yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. really good. That's actually another um, way of looking at, for me, of looking at mimesis because uh, one of the transitions of mimesis is imitation, and uh, the idea of imitation is a very popular musical composition technique, uh, but it has a much different meaning. It's, just basically the repetition of a line sort of staggered. So Christina will sing something and I'll repeat it, or I'll play something and Christina will repeat it. That's a kind of limitation, and that's a kind of pursuit that she mm -hmm. also do. Anyone else? One thing that I loved about the music and um, the painting is that we can stay in pursuit. There's no beginning and there's certainly no end. That pursuit, being even though it's an action, can be enough and to stay within that. And I was very surprised at the music that, yes, it didn't catch anything. That you could stay within the action and not force a result. I thought that was good. Keith has a beautiful meditation on that and we should learn. I thought the music captured the likeness 